I look stoned and at this point I honestly wish I was babe. Hello hens. How are we all diddly doing? How's everybody holding up? I am ill because apparently it is never my fucking turn to be happy. Am I dramatic? Yes, I'm a cancer, but I feel really poorly insensitive. <laughs> Whenever I get ill, like all of my emotions just go over the top. And I've also had to switch back to my previous camera because my current camera is like stuttering. I think the lighting's better here anyway for my new office. Today, babe, what we're we gonna be doing? I'm looking at the main camera. It's this one, isn't it? It's all gonna be fing Pete Tongue, babe. I'm not on drugs. It sounds like I am. I'm not stoned, right? right? I've been testing for COVID every single day. All negative so far. That oh sir, no, no, no. Sorry, I need to get my pulse. That's on the wonk, in it? For some reason, this monitor, it's always on the wonk, and I don't know why. Today, I would like to renovate a house, but not spend any money. I'm really in a renovation TikTok at the minute. Specifically, actually, if we're going to get into specifics right now, I'm really in a Victorian renovation TikTok, which makes me sad a little bit, because I don't have a Victorian house, but this house is... Per Ooh. Ow! Can this house is perfect for me. You may call it living vicariously. So I'm really into uh, like renovating things and also seeing people do it on a budget. So I thought let's take that TikTok into the Sims 4, babe. And let's try and renovate a house without spending any money at all. Why am I drawn to Oasis Springs? I don't know. See, we could go Willow Creek, but like I fucking hate the houses in Willow Creek. Actually, if I'm, if I'm going to be open and honest with you, if this is a sharing time right now, I fucking hate these houses. No offense to anyone who lives in these houses in real life. It's not because I hate them because they're ugly, because they're not ugly. I just hate them because it's like, you know, if you had the same packet of crisps each day, you'd end up maybe being turned off the flavor. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and I'm not, you know, comparing these house to a bundle of potatoes, but then again, I am. So make of that what you will. So I think actually I will go, I will, I will go in a way to Springs, Your Honor. I will, I will. And I'm not doing that big bastard. Oh, should I do that big bastard? Because the inside of this house is actually quite, no, it's not this house I'm thinking of, sorry. Is it? Nope, sorry, you are not the father. What house am I thinking of? You know who I think I'm thinking of? The BFF, Willow Creek. No. Oh my God. That's so bizarre. Who's ha whose fucking house is this then? You know what? Maybe I'm just stalling because I've missed yours. Oh my God. It's literally right in front of me. The roomies household. This could be a fun house to do because at the base of it, I hate it. And it's got this open courtyard bit there. And I don't know what I could do with it. There is literal roomies living here. So I could try and do like a separate condo kind of thing. That could be cool. That's an opportunity. But yes, I've missed yours. I can't record that often at the minute. But obviously, making content is first and foremost a hobby more than it is a job and this might sound daft if well it just might sound daft to us but it's just how it works for me i also feel stressed when i can't make content or i don't physically feel up to making content and not because i feel pressure or fused to make it in fact it's the opposite is a really 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 understanding when things go to shit in my life but because this is my hobby and i feel like i unlock myself when i record content then i've been kind of it's almost made things worse and today i put makeup on and said you know what fuck it if i get one video done today that's gonna make me feel a little bit better and my granddad is f called fucking lazarus right that's his nickname so you never quite know but then i'm also stressed because you never quite know do you know what i mean oh when is it my fucking turn to be happy babe we've got that one that one is a contender this has also got an interesting roof piece but apart from that she does not entertain me so where should we go you know what i'm kind of suited into the condo thingy of this this household seems to have stepped right out of a tv sitcom more like a tv sitcom door than condominate. What wacky misadventures will the perky Zoe, easygoing Mitchell, uptight ladies Manjay, and intellectual Gavin suffer this week? Tune in and find out. Well, I will. Actually, I'll make them their perfect little house. I'm putting my heart and soul into this build. I need to write this down, Donna. Oh god, I'm having heart palpitations. Oh fuck, am I dying? No, babe. It's anxiety, in it. There we go. That is the amount that we can put into this. We also have 14,000 simoleons in family money. I don't think I'm going to use that because I don't want to be tempted. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to be tempted. And if anything, I am tempted at everything. I'm going to try and renovate this. And the budget has got to be 65596 or even potentially less than. And I'm going to try and utilize items that we already have. No, I'm not. I take that entire thing back. I've just looked how I fucking hate the base game objects. You know, I have a lot of hate in my heart for the base game Sims. Actually, I do we do that's that i'm not going to develop on it more i've also went in a sims mode of this because i want to be able to like look through the personalities and make a room that is good for them so i need everybody to just fuck off this lot please and thank you all right can every oh, where where shall we bloody go bitch but you can't really fucking walk around would you yeah jesus christ what do you pay for when you get fucking out they can't go anywhere oh here we can go to this park right everybody 
Go sit on that bench. Right, here we go. Do I just go ahead and delete everything? I did it. I want to keep this like courtyard bit because if I do four separate condos, then I think that could be really cool to have like a meeting place. Meet me halfway right in the courtyard. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm quite excited for this actually. This is a uh, pushing the boundaries for me. Do you know what I mean? Which isn't saying much really if separating one house into four is like the peak of my creativity in Sims build and buy more. Do you know what I mean? But I will take my victories where i can get them do you know what i mean i'm not about to put myself down because why put myself down when there's only one of me do you know what i mean my mom's been rubbing off on me the amount of times my mom just slips in conversation jessica you are enough it's quite sweet really is this centered because i can't have favoritism do you know what i mean i've really missed the thing in the sims uh, well earlier sims games where you went like that and you could see how far across it was it makes more sense to just be like boom boom no oh no this isn't well <gasps> oh mm, i could just do a triangle why am I i'm focusing so much on making it equal and then they have all got this courtyard in the middle oh it's quite nice actually it looks like a little fairy or something doesn't it if you use your imagination and you know, i expect you're gonna need to utilize that aspect actually oh well it's gone down considerably less hasn't it? i don't know what to do about this garden fuck that cactus in particular because I, I kind of want the entrances let me just place a door so you can kind of visualize what i'm saying because i am aware that i am ill therefore talking shit like i want the entrances to these to be like on the outside here so i don't know whether to just do this as like one shared garden although i might move it to like here because once again i am a thoughtful bitch and i wouldn't want like an entire community garden backed up right onto my window do you know what i mean so if i just separate it like that and have it like as a community garden like you can go in if you want to but fucking back off and then we can have windows are really quite cheap in this game actually aren't they See, i was gonna just have like floor to ceiling windows like that that's obviously not the final look see but I, now i don't know whether i should spice it up or something you know what i mean you could say that this window has in fact piqued my interest and i don't know what to do with the roof like this is an interesting roof right now but is it really what i want in life i'm gonna be creative with it i am gonna push myself out my comfort zone before i get too ahead of things i'm gonna get rid of every single bit of personality in this house i want to do like a nice glass roof moment that comes through I, i'm i'm visioning it and it looks very beautiful actually but i kind of need to decide on a floor plan this is not the final floor in here it's just so my mind is clear a little studio moment because that could be a wardrobe bathroom that's quite a spacious bathroom as well actually if you're thinking about it i am quite a generous uh person in this do you know what i mean and just kind of mirror that but then do i just do the exact same thing on the opposite side this is a lot of walls actually am i wasting money here but then that still leaves the room here to go in the courtyard obviously i can't have a window there otherwise someone's gonna watch you while you're having a shot can't be doing that babe right yeah i might just do this because then that's like a solid place to put the bathroom you know it's fucking my mind up i had to really sit and focus then on if everybody had a bathroom but i think they do I'm trying to work it out right because we need to fit a bed table we also need to fit oh the door in the bathroom can go there it's fine i'm not worrying about that one actually and then we've got the closet the closet who am i turning into so like this is like a little bedroom moment but then my issue with that is where's the living room i feel like i'm wasting space not utilizing it like this give me a minute give me a minute while i think of a floor plan i can execute this i feel it in my bones i think this may be coming together and then we've still got like the separate bit because obviously i have no interest in the stuff but people might have friends around you know what i mean that works better than we can have a little galley kitchen because the galley kitchen could go like either way i guess because the other rooms don't have this thing on so just pretend that we don't either living room right and then whip whip bit of bap 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 boop we have space for a dining room and then the dining room can also get to watch the telly oh god you know what i haven't thought about i'm trying to create a fucking i'm trying to renovate for the same and or less and i'm gonna have to do all kitchens oh fuck 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 well it certainly illustrates the diversity of the world well this may need some utilization your honor i think i've got a shared kitchen on either side delete this whole wall thing she was a cute moment while she lasted but she wasn't meant to last long apparently the layouts can be different so on this side we can have the beds over there i suppose we could have them over here too on this side actually maybe not a glass door jesus christ now that that's done now i can place all of the fun roofing that's a lie roofing is never fun she is actually quite a bit of a ball ache actually at the best of times i can't tell if i hate it i mean i think i do but i don't know whether i should 
should trust the process on this one because I have a plan, right? And here is my cunning plan. My cunning plan is actually to kind of separate this little bit off. Oh, I I think I am kind of fucking with it actually. My only gripe is that it kind of looks like an abattoir to me, which is very mysterious because I've never seen an abattoir. But we could have little ladders here, right? But then upstairs can be like a little upstairs outdoor terrace. I think that could be quite quite nice. And I think I am going to cheat as well by bdb dot short hidden objects bb not sure live edit objects so basically what i'm trying to do babe is i'll tell you right here you right now actually i'm getting these trees for fucking free because i'm not wasting money on a fucking tree sorry am i putting my heart and soul into this before we have actually got onto the build yes yes fuck it i think i'm actually gonna go wild upstairs and then i'll catch us back up because i know that i'm gonna go all out for this just let me babe just let me this is my this is my time be happy right here right now sorry i did get a bit carried away actually i did i did and i just went for the full shebang because i was honestly enjoying myself and i find debug quite tedious to do as i'm doing it so i thought it would be even more tedious to sit and watch me do it a lot of outside is free and i did kind of finish the layout of it so now it's just down to customize and the first one i'm going to do is jay huntington the third is basically a bro He's He's just asked about activeness and stuff so i'm gonna give his house the vibe of like someone who's just moved into the house that's that pretty plain because all he's asked about is sports 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 it's in the game could never be me there's a really small table that i use every single time and i can't for the fucking life of me oh i've got a coffee i can't for the life of me find out where it is it's like there it is it's a really small triangle table and i do always uh use it actually to be honest there's only one of them here so i could scooch him back towards the bed i'm sure beds are working again now i was gonna to put flowers on the side of his bed but who am i fooling babe he would not be using them i'm trying to find like a lots 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 poster by the way if anyone's wondering how i do this it's the plus and minus keys on the keyboard perfect absolutely perfect that's the only bit of personality he is getting near his bedroom please and thank you and i'll just oh that's gonna be really fucking expensive though isn't it oh 900 i mean it could be worse. It could be worse. These all seem to take up too much space. So do you know what? You can have it, babe. You can have it. Happy Christmas. Actually, I may have a change of plan. Oh, wait. I don't need to put the kitchen. We've got a shared kitchen. Oh, look at me. Look at me. I just copied and pasted them. And then I thought we could have like a group dining area over here because they are supposed to be best mates, aren't they? I'm assuming they won't mind having tea together. But you know what? I don't know if they're that comfortable being friends. I actually kind of, I want to be a bit chaotic and I want to, that's ruining it a bit too much actually i want to be a bit chaotic and ruin the feng shui of the room because like this layout in my opinion makes more sense this layout is much more chaotic and i think that is the type of thing that he'd have in his room am i making a sweeping generalization yes sorry if you are an athlete and you actually have more to your personality than purely kicking a ball i am also scared of athletes i think because i could never have that amount of self-belief and slash or determination so good on you babe it's just not a hundred percent me do you know what i mean but also do you know what i slag off well i'm not slagging off athletes like if you're an athlete good for you you look happy and healthy not me if you ever care to ask but i did actually used to be an athlete you know i did actually I, I actually did right here is my experience i got a black eye by the boy i fancied in year five yeah so that that pretty much ended my jock career but i did tell a bit of like i used to play rugby and swimming and i did dabble in hockey my favorite game was basketball um, and i have a really really inspirational story actually because for some fucking reason unbeknownst to me like i'm pretty sure what this should be like why didn't the school do anything i was actually on the boys register for pe don't know why i was assigned female at birth so i should have been on the you know that register because every other year i was as well but no for some reason i was on the boys register for pe which meant that like in extracurricular activities because we used to do this thing on a wednesday afternoon that was like you got to do an activity and it was basketball one of mine was anyway and it was literally only boys and then me and nobody picked me for the team because obviously the, the, you know what teenage boys are like in secondary school they're like i don't want the emo girl on our team like okay i'm not the sensitive one though but nobody picked me and then i just got put on this one team and the amount of <laughs> thingies that ask god i don't know the name of it but i am really good at scoring them i am quite a hypothetical job the social anxiety and the asthma just get in the way a little bit you know when you just wish someone would have been recording it beware of the emo girl because you don't know what power she holds right the jocks room's done 
No, it's not. He hasn't got a toilet. I can imagine him only liking a shower, so I'm only going to give him a shower, a public one. I don't know. I just think he'll be so used to the lockers and that. He'll be, like, uncomfortable in a secure shower. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting from this guy. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he can't because he is also a sim and also a black toilet, so then it won't show the shit stains because I'm betting he leaves them. And I'm not going to discuss that theory further. There you go, babe. There you go. Right, the next one. Oh, Mitchell Kalani is outgoing, lazy, bro, and gregarious. You know what this means, babe? You know what this means he is gonna have a movie pad at his house i wish we had like a lazy boy or something oh that's amazing i'm gonna give him two he's not gonna have a city actually i'm gonna give him a that tv but just size up because i can't how much is that anyway <gasps> fucking daylight robbery that that is actually quite obscene you'll get a vintage antenna tv and i'll fucking size it up for you and you'll be grateful for it yes this is what he gets i also want him to have like a we're gonna make a, a homemade sound bar 975 it really is fucking daylight robbery there's your sound bar babe it's there Oh shit, how is he going to get to the toilet? Well, this home theatre has just lost a little bit of its spark, but it's all right. I can also imagine him have a double bed, a uh, single bed, and he is my reason as to why. He has a single bed because it's less to make. He's lazy. It's my head cannon, and it's believable. Now I need clutter. I need some rubbish. He's dropped some food. He's left it. That's that. I'm going to get rid of that, actually, because it just takes up too much room. We've still got quite a bit of room left, actually. This guy can't get into his bathroom either. This is giving me Chandler and Joy vibes. Welcome home, man. There you go. I'll buy. I mean, that kind of works. Very, very fucking expensive. He's a retro gamer. He prefers games of retro eras and therefore has Windows 95. He's going to get the traditional American walls. Such an American colour and I don't understand it. That's his room done. Right, next up. Gavin. He's a bro. He's neat. He's a muser. Ooh. And he's creative. This one shall be fun. Oh, he's also got this little extra space here. I might make this little space. Are you ready for it? Not a fucking jail cell. <laughs> imagine imagine oh my god a carved guitar that's pretty cool actually this is going to be his his creation station so you want to make his room quite cool though because he is creative and he's also neat i can imagine he's got an eye for style this boy we are running out of money sharpish i'm going to give this guy a green theme i've given absolutely no one the pleasure of having curtains look okay. it he's also getting a cheap tv and all because i just i can't justify it gavin i really can't oh this looks so cute you can tell he's creative can you this place just got a certain flair about it the flares me all right i think he's done it's a little plain but that is absolutely fine because we're not flashy we're not showing off to anyone we're quite comfortable in our own little space this guy is definitely my favorite i don't know if you can tell i don't know if i've let my how much i think this guy is superior sure the last last zoe patel she's cheerful clumsy goofball and gregarious so i think that her house oh my god they've all got this little secret compartment i'm such a dumb bitch i literally added that in zoe patel is gonna have a fun house oh i might do her house like y2k themed i think that could be really fun i'm doing it i know that we have beads but i can't think where they are i think are they in wall decorations oh this is gonna be so fun because i'm having the time of my life and i'm bringing it back to y2k the fact that everything was see-through in the 2000s makes well i guess you know what's kind of a fad isn't it, it was kind of, it was fun while it lasted wish we had we were playing the sims 1 right now because the sims 1 has some amazing y2k stuff considering it is literally y2k don't want to have to use my first pet stuff but i think i may have to use my first pet stuff i actually might use this because this looks the closest to a bubble that i can think of oh and i can even get away with using the cheap telly on this because it's y2k babe <laughs> right that'll do that's a living room Valid Cluck and cactus fits in nicely there. Bear with me. I'm doing a Drake and Josh moment. Can't tell if I like it yet, but my thoughts, well, my fucking thoughts and prayers, to be honest, babe. I used to want a bed like this so fucking much when I was a kid. I also used to want to live under the stairs when I was a kid. So, you know what? I'm glad that my mum didn't trust my own judgment. Otherwise, we'd have all been fucked. You know what? I'm running out of money and I don't think that lazy guy deserves a game and help. So, bye, bitch. Sorry. Do we have a lava lamp? Oh, fun. I really am pushing the boat out here a little bit for myself and I fucking love it, actually. Oh, I'm I'm having a blast like i actually genuinely like accent off fake accent off i am having the fucking time of my life it's a mess and i absolutely love it like i am actually obsessed i've got 715 smallians left i can do this shit <laughs> i may be cutting it close actually right who's gonna sacrifice something because someone's gonna do it who should it be should it be me am i the drama i don't think think i'm the drama uh you know what this guy does not need a bath and a shower but my girl does need all of these curtains these curtains are actually paramount to the entire build actually thank you i think we've done it the only thing that we haven't done is this inside courtyard but they've got an entire fucking swimming pool on the lot i think we've done it the outside of it i much prefer it's a lot 
busier but also it's a lot more practical there's a lot more things to do and i also just prefer the look of the entire build i'd actually play here i don't like playing in like four separate things actually i wish we had the option to separate off certain parts i cannot be able to use parts of the house yeah obviously my favorite room is that this room i like that each of the rooms are simple enough because i don't actually like to play in cut cluttered builds that much and the outside of it looks quite cluttered but the inside she's unassuming do you know what i mean i don't assume anything about her she doesn't show anything about me we have a happy life i think one of my favorite things is including these at the front because then it actually kind of looks like a condo there we go right well let me go into manage wells and actually see how much i've spent because I, I don't know i just don't trust that how much that house is worth counter thing because like where's your stats Fifty-seven thousand seven hundred and thirty-six, and our goal was sixty-five thousand five hundred and ninety-six. so that is actually a big fat success so i will give myself a pat on the back thanking you thank you all for joining this video i know it's all over the place so am i so at least it's realistic do you know what i mean thank you all for your well wishes as well and thank you all just for bearing with us i love you all so so much please subscribe if you haven't already and leave video ideas down below i love you and i'll see you next one bye beach